Welcome back to that dad guy. It is April the 2nd, 2023, and it's kind of nice out. So you can see the snow is starting to recede a bit. We still have it around, but it's starting to go away. And today I've got some post crossing to do. So I've got three official cards that I'm going to write, and I've got about 15 uh, friend mails to respond to. So let me show you some of the cards that I picked out. All right, we found ourselves back inside. We have our sheets of paper, and now we're going to show you what cards I picked out to go today. First one I have is going to uh, the United States, going to California specifically. Person there lives in Northern California with her husband, her three rescue dogs, two are beagles, who are also research survivors. Um, she loves the outdoors and hiking, backpacking, kayaking, biking. Recently bought an inflatable stand-up paddleboard. Um, she was born and raised in California. Loves post-crossing. The concept of citizenship diplomacy is very appealing to me. In case you're not familiar with uh, citizen diplomacy, it's where every individual is uh, creating um, an impression, I guess, with other nations. So... Consider yourself a diplomat that every one of your actions, things that you say, represents the country that you uh, are from. So all these videos that I make are represent uh, representing a Canadian perspective. And so hopefully I'm um, showing Canada in a good light and Canadians in a good light. This is my act of citizenship and diplomacy. And so is post-crossing. So every time that you uh, send out a card and uh, you... Put your writing on the back of it, your little story of uh, whatever it is that you happen to be talking about. You're giving an impression of what a person from your country is like. And so that, that's a great concept. I like that she's put that in here too. Uh, she says she looks forward to connecting with people. Uh, thank you for being a part of the vital effort to connect in a meaningful way. If you're not sure what to write, the monthly prompt is often a great starting place. Okay, so this is something else that was new for me, the monthly prompt. So I went on postcrossing.com and uh, looked it up and sure enough there's something there for April it's talking about uh, what languages do you know so it's just giving you an idea of some of the things that you could be writing if you kind of run out of uh, ideas of what to write you know not everybody just wants to hear it's a sunny day happy post crossing um, people want to hear meaningful things that are happening whether uh, maybe you've uh, just lost a family member or maybe you don't want to get that personal uh, maybe you want to say um, getting ready to go on a trip and this is the location I'm going to or just got back from a trip and this is what I saw. Uh, so, so these are some of the details that you can write just in a short couple sentences that make your uh, your cards a little bit more interesting. And so I struggle with that sometimes too. Uh, I kind of get into a funk of writing the same type of things because I'm thinking about what have I done today and I'm writing the book, uh, writing the story on this cards, a whole bunch of cards maybe the same day. So some people get the same information now if i'm doing direct swaps i know i've told them certain things already and uh, so sometimes you can write a little bit more and get more meaningful but usually i've only got space for about two sentences and it's hard to write uh, a very impactful message in that short period of time if you're doing a official post crossing for somebody um, and you don't even know them uh, sometimes you have an idea or a struggle of what to write so it's a good idea. Go on postcrossing.com, see what the monthly prompt is, and maybe that'll help you write something else. All right, so she uh, basically wants anything that comes. So I'm going to send this card. This is Galan's. This is a uh, tubing down the Miramichi River. Um, so it takes place in Doylesbrook, New Brunswick, just outside the Miramichi. And so where she's doing paddle boarding, all sorts of fun uh, adventures outside. Uh, maybe she would like that. All right, my next one is also going to California, and this person lives uh, near the wine country in Northern California, about 40 miles north of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. So she's close to a lot of lovely areas, both north and south of where she lives. She's semi-retired, enjoys spending time with her grandchildren, loves to scrapbook, hike, and camp. Any postcards are welcome, but if you want some suggestions, she likes that uh, Inglook, Funny, Nature, and Food. So I went with this one. We've got a little bit of nature down here. You can see this is Harvey Station uh, here in New Brunswick. And uh, what I thought was kind of funny about this card, if she reads the back of it, it tells a bit about Harvey Station. And the very first thing it says is home to the world's largest fiddle. But on the front, <laughs> there's no picture of the world's largest fiddle. So I thought that was odd. If that's their claim to fame, uh, why not promote it? But 
we'll see if she likes that card and uh, maybe she has to go to Harvey Station in order to see the world's largest fiddle. Now, I always thought the world's largest fiddle was in Sydney, Nova Scotia. And maybe when the cards were printed for Harvey, uh, Harvey did have the world's largest fiddle. And since then, Sydney has, has built it. But who knows? All right. My last official card is going to Germany. And... Uh, she says she's been post-crossing for more than 15 years. She wanted to change her pro, uh, her profile a little bit. So she says she can't remember where she learned about post-crossing, but really likes the idea to get to know people from all over the world and see different places on postcards, such as great experiences that uh, are out there because of information you will probably never know by traveling to yourself. She's met so many people on post-crossing meetups. And it's always fun to see persons uh, that you wrote po postcards to before face to face. During the years, some postcrossers became friends and we still write cards to each other. So I certainly have that too. Over the years, some of the topics that she really likes are Lantern Press, UNESCO World Heritage Sites, postcrossing meetup cards, uh, US Lantern Press, Royal Families, City Views, Tourist Cards, Star Wars Cards, uh, Orcas, Wolves, uh, Thousand Gend. And the things that she'd like to write on it, tell her, tell you, tell her something about your life, typically characteristics of your homeland, or just something you want to share. Love fully written cards to hear more of you and your life. If you don't know what to write, here are some suggestions. What will happen with your cards if you continue writing and sending? Do you have people? Um, so, do you have people infected to get? I think it means she's meant to say, um, have you influenced other people to become post crossers? Uh, what is a dream you have or will it come true? What do you work? Where are you working? What things have you learned through post crossing that you don't want to miss? Anyways, I have picked this. It is one of the Nova Scotia meetup cards from the Nova Scotia meetups last year. I actually didn't attend it, but I did get some of the cards because I attended the New Brunswick and the, the Prince Edward Island ones. And uh, this Nova Scotia one happened the day between the two of those. So I have a bunch of meetup cards that don't have stamps on it because I wasn't there, but still gets the card and it leaves me space to write. So that works great. Now I've got a bunch of friend swaps to do. You've seen some of these cards on Friday, so we're going to rush through them a little bit more. All the Easter cards that I received on Friday in the mail are all going out today because next weekend is Easter so uh, there's no point in me hanging on to these for next year they're all very beautiful cards so I want to get them out into people's uh, mailboxes so all of these ones are going out and we have this postcard of the Hopewell Rocks here in New Brunswick you can see the tide is out because you can walk along the uh, ocean floor there we have this That Dad Guy card is going out. We have a Did You Know About the Reversing Falls in St. John. This Wombat Street Art. I really like that. The, the electrical cable coming down here and then it connects into his headphones. So all of this is drawn on the pavement. This nice card of daffodils. Because in some places they're already starting to come up where spring has sprung. Other places still have snow on the ground and maybe some polar bears looking around for some food. Or maybe you find yourself in the big city of Toronto, but you found yourself at Casa Loma, which is, looks like a medieval uh, castle in the middle of our big city of Toronto. And then we have this train station, the McAdam train station here in New Brunswick. And then finally, one more shot of winter um, as we we're hoping that it is disappearing. Uh, like I showed you at the beginning outside the house, um, it is starting to recede. And in the next few weeks, it really will start to disappear. We're going to get some rain this week. We're going to get some uh, temperatures that are um, double digits, maybe even on a couple days. So I expect to see a lot more of my front lawn. Um, the fire pit in my backyard is starting to be visible, so the snow has melted down enough that I can see the top of it now. Um, so yeah, I always like this because I can gauge how close we are to uh, real spring as the snow disappears. And when I look in the backyard, I'm almost at the point where I can pull the barbecue out. So I'm hoping that I can barbecue this week to, for the first time this season. Um, my back deck is slowly starting to melt away with uh, snow, so that's a good sign. 
Well, I have all these cards that I need to get to, so I shouldn't be chit-chatting to you guys for much longer. I should get to uh, writing my messages, uh, decorating these cards, making sure they get stamped and get in the mail for tomorrow because it's a short mail week. Uh, Good Friday is this week, so there's no mail on Good Friday. Uh, next week, we have Easter Monday, so there won't be any mail on that day. So I have a four-day um, vacation, I guess, in sorts coming up, and uh, two four-day work weeks, which means I've got to get as many cards out early in the week so they can try to get to their destination quickly, and then we'll enjoy having a, a little bit of a break next weekend, which will be nice. All right, you guys, have a magical week. What follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Bye.